All right, Tom McGuire, Frank Colonia, Scrand MMA. Uh, got this request. Uh, someone wanted us to show Sinagi to Osogari uh, for Jiu Jitsu. A little bit different. Uh, we use it in Jiu Jitsu versus Judo. Uh, big concern any Judo throw in Jiu Jitsu is getting your back taken. So we're going to adjust some points uh, with that. But real first, Sinagi, classic Sinagi, you'd be pulling your person forward, full rotation, and throwing them over your hip. All right, classic Osogari is stepping in, reaping their leg, throwing at about a 45 to 90 degree angle. And it works great in combination. As I go to pull him forward, I'm gonna get a reaction. And I'm gonna use Osogari to take advantage of that reaction. So first, just your most basic, Sinagi to Osogari. So, got grips. Grips really don't matter, 100 different ways to do this. For practice, just leave the lapel. Uh, pull and enter real fast. Show the CNIV, finish with those soda. Great position uh, to go to the ground. Once more, just watching the reaction and then the angle I change the throw. So I'm here, CNIV, Osoto. Changing that angle 90 degrees is great for Osoto. Uh, and again, since you're doing jujitsu, very common reaction to your opponent. As soon as you expose your back, as soon as you start to turn, they want to look to jump on your back. And you just got to have that in the back of your mind and know the proper finish. Without throwing, the first thing I need to realize is if he starts to come around my back, I need to change the angle of the throw and get almost 90 degrees to him so that I can windmill almost into him to pick him up. And that'll stop him from getting on my back and still allow me to score. All right? So you'll see Frank, he'll slide around me, and I'm going to do a heavy, heavy, big rotation to finish the throw. Okay? All right? A lot of fun, real good to practice. Think of using the back of your shoulder to drive and lift him up. You can't use your hips to move him because he's going to jump around your hips, so you have to use your shoulders. Uh, one more time with that. As soon as he goes around, I just need to change the angle. I can't cut at this 90 degrees. Here, he jumps, and throw. Thank you, Frank. It falls. One last option is he tries to circle and run away the back, out the back. All right, he cannot race me this way. If I start this way and he tries to run this way, start this way, I'll always catch him. I can run faster this way and use his body to slow him down, and I'll always get the Osoto guard. But he might try to escape out the back door, and then I'm going to use this outstretched arm against him. So again, same Aki. And I'm just going to drag him down here, and I put all my weight on his tricep here. And that's going to allow you to finish. His only escape is for him to roll. If he rolls, that's fine. Right to north-south, Right to knee on belly, right to side body, whatever your favorite position. All right, and just once more, Sinagi, straight to Osoto. That should be your goal. That's why we're doing this. We also want to cover some of the other options. So again, Sinagi to Osoto. Great throw, lots of power. If the fall scare you a bit, grab a crash pad, and just get a lot of reps. Thanks a lot.